ever pondered the existence of life beyond our planet. The quest to find extraterrestrial life is no longer just a figment of science fiction. Our fascination with otherworldly beings has transcended the realm of fantasy and entered the sphere of scientific exploration. The cosmos, with its unending depth and countless celestial bodies, has always been a source of intrigue. Is it possible that somewhere out there, light years away, life as we know it, or as we don't, exists? Enter NASA's Terrestrial Planet Finder or TPF, a space mission that dares to answer this question. Its goal? To directly image Earth-like planets orbiting nearby stars. With this ambitious project, we hope to catch a glimpse of alien worlds, to perceive the tangible evidence of life beyond our own. In this mission, five distinct stars have been chosen. Let's delve into the mysteries they hold. Epsilon Indy A, the top choice for the TPF mission, is a celestial body that's only about one-tenth as bright as our sun. Nestled comfortably in the constellation Indus, this star stands around 11.8 light-years away from us. It's like a dim light in the sky, casting a soft glow into the vastness of space. You might be wondering, why this particular star? Why does it pique the interest of those at NASA's Terrestrial Planet Finder mission? Well, the answer lies in its luminosity. Its dim light makes it an ideal candidate for the direct imaging of potential Earth-like planets. The less intense light of the star could allow us to see the planets around it more clearly, without the usual glare that brighter stars would cause. Its dimness might make it less noticeable, but Epsilon NDA holds potential for extraordinary discoveries. In the grand cosmic theater sometimes, the most intriguing stories are told by the faintest stars. Epsilon Eridani and Omicron 2 Eridani, two stars located in the constellation Eridanus, are our stellar neighbors. Let's first turn our gaze towards Epsilon Eridani. This star is a tad smaller and cooler than our sun. Its size and temperature, however, don't make it any less significant in our quest for alien life. Nestled about 10 and a half light years away, Epsilon Eridani is closer than you might think. Quite the neighbor, isn't it? Now, let's shift our attention to Omicron 2 Eridani. This star paints the cosmos with a yellow-orange hue, standing about 16 light years away from us. Interestingly, it shares a common trait with our sun, their age. They're both roughly the same age, a factor that may increase the chances of life evolving around them. These stars, seemingly so different from our own, are prime locations for the search for extraterrestrial life. Alpha Centauri b, a member of a triple star system, is one of the sun's closest stellar neighbors. It's a mere hop, skip, and a cosmic jump away at only 4.35 light years. Now, in the grand scheme of the universe, that's like popping over to your neighbor's house for a cup of sugar. This proximity is a boon for the terrestrial planet finder mission. You see, the closer a star is, the easier it is for us to study and understand. It's like trying to read a book from across the room versus having it in your hands. Alpha Centauri b offers an intimate look into the workings of a star system not unlike our own. It's like peeking through a cosmic keyhole into another realm of possibilities. This star system's closeness, combined with its similarity to our own solar system, makes it a prime candidate for the search for Earth-like planets. The closeness of Alpha Centauri b makes it an enticing prospect for the discovery of alien life. Tau Ceti, a G-class star, is in the same brightness category as our Sun. Now that's a sentence that sends a shiver down the spine, isn't it? This star has been burning brightly for eons, seemingly ordinary in its cosmic corner. Yet it's this very ordinariness that makes it so intriguing. Tau Ceti lacks the abundance of metals found in many other celestial bodies, yet this has not stunted its longevity. For billions of years, this star has been shining steadily, providing a consistent, nurturing environment that could potentially harbor life. Its long lifespan is a key factor here. The evolution of complex life forms is no quick process. It requires a stable, unchanging environment and a considerable amount of time. Tau Ceti offers both of these in spades. So, as we continue our cosmic quest for companionship, we should keep an eye on this seemingly ordinary star. Despite its seeming ordinariness, Tau Ceti may just be our best bet for finding extraterrestrial life. The TPF mission, with its focus on these five stars, brings us closer than ever to answering the question of alien life. The mission selection of stars Epsilon Indy A, Epsilon Eridani, Omicron 2 Eridani, Alpha Centauri B, and Tau Ceti, each hold a unique potential for the discovery of extraterrestrial life. Epsilon Indy A, being only one-tenth as bright as the sun, 
offers an environment far different from ours, yet potentially habitable. Epsilon Eridani, although slightly cooler and smaller than our sun, could still host life forms adapted to such conditions. Omicron 2. Eridani, with its similar age to our sun, may have had the time to nurture complex life forms. Alpha Centauri b, one of the sun's closest stellar neighbors is an exciting prospect due to its proximity. Lastly, Tau Ceti, despite being metal poor, has lived long enough for life to possibly evolve. As we gaze up at the night sky, we are looking into the future of space exploration and the potential discovery of life beyond Earth.